All right. Shalom. 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 Hey, first off, we'd like to give all the praise and all the glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Kakudash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Peace, love, and salutation to the hopeful elect around the four corners of the earth that are making their calling. And let's ensure. Shalom. 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 Hey, we the brothers here in Savannah, Georgia, a branch of Great Millstone coming back at you again in the truth, man. You know, coming back um, to wake our people up, you so-called Blacks, you so-called Native Americans, you so-called Latinos, waking you up to the truth of what's going on here in the earth. You know, we're not sugarcoating anything. We're not lying to you. We're not trying to deceive you. <laughs> you know, we're not coming out and asking you for money. We're not asking you to come buy t-shirts. We're asking you to just get this knowledge, wisdom, understanding. Because true love is passing on of knowledge. It tell you that in Ephesians. So brothers are just coming out here to pass on knowledge. And that's showing that true love. And we get also getting the blood off our hands. You know, because we want the Lord to come back and see like, hey, this is my servant. And he's out here working. He's out here doing what is pleasing to you. How about you? All right. And we're not hey, we're not going to be looked at as um, um, with gal in our mouth. You know, we told you everything. We gave you the whole rundown, the whole skinny. You know, you can't say, well, um, brothers didn't come out. That's a part of Great Millstone and prepare you. You know, we prepared you for what's coming. Uh, let me get that second air, just nine, the first um, verse. Second Ezra chapter nine and verse one, it says, he answered me then and said, measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Hey, and that's what we doing. We measuring the time. We getting on the, on the alternative news. Brothers are putting up videos. We watching these movies that that Esau Edom is bringing out through the inspiration of Yahweh Hashem Abishai. We watching these these movies and we pull it out, um, pulling out the prophecy, showing you like, hey, these devils know what what's going to happen. They have something called plain sight. All right, uh, the brother Amaya Kai was saying right before camp, hey, we need to get into that movie Left Behind. And when you get into that movie Left Behind, you start seeing the um, um um traces of the bible in it start seeing traces of prophecy in it you know because these things are going to come to pass these things are going to happen you know we're going to see people out here losing their minds you know uh i think um uh, i don't know if you brothers um know exactly what he said but the, the so-called white man said to the other um white man he said that um um, I'm a weak man without my my phone and without um what is it, GPS. Yeah, he said I'm useless. Yep. Yeah, he, I'm useless. You know, and and what the other guy said, I think he said he said I'm a prepared man. Yeah, you know. Yep. And so if that, you look at that spiritually, if you look at that spiritually, you looking at the so you you're looking at the so called white man, and you looking at the the elect. The hopeful elect, because the hopeful elect are prepared. You know, we've been studying, we've been making your how about Shema Shah um known out here in the earth. All right, we've been exalting the Lord, we've been covered in your how about Shema Shah. You know, uh, brother got something. I got one real quick. All right, this is Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 1. I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower, and I will watch to see what he will say unto me and what. I what I shall answer when I am reproved. And the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables, that he may run that reads it. For the vision is yet for a point in time, but the end it shall speak and not lie. Though Ooh. it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. Mm -hmm. You got it. Yeah, man. So, yeah, man, like, that was a... Uh, you know, when you know if brothers watch the movie, that was a very uh prophetic movie. And like if you really pay close attention to it, like, you know, scriptures was like like just popping in your head, like mm -hmm. damn every scene, you know, 
friends should become enemies all that stuff man you know mm -hmm. and these these are the times that's that's about to approach man and basically that was a warning on the left hand side you know to show you that hey these are the times that's gonna happen you know from the like it started from the beginning to the end you know just mm -hmm. the very prophetic movie that's why brothers talking about it you know uh, all over the world man you know hey hey when you seen these um these planes falling out the skies yeah. you know hey that's what's gonna happen man hey hey when you see these horrific accidents you see the tesla cars backing up because the the navigation is gone the gps is gone you know all the different things that that that, that powers this american um system is going to be shut down right. you know I got a uh, precept. Uh -huh. Proverbs 22 and 3. A prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself, but mm. the simple pass on and are punished. And mm. uh, if you really, you know, pay attention to the media and a lot of what people are saying about this, this movie that came out, <laughs> it's going over a lot of heads, you know? Mm hmm a lot of people are like, oh, I don't like the ending, you know, rather than, hey, that shit was, you know, it had a lot of uh, uh, right. hidden gems in it, you know, mm -hmm. or, or this, this is pro predictive programming. Um, right. Yeah, there, there's something that the elites use. It's called the revelation of the method, you know, and uh, basically before they do something, they have to tell you they're going to do it. Right. You know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got a prescript when you get a chance. Yeah, you got hey, it. when you go into the word revelation, it means to reveal, to pull back the veil. And that's what they're doing. They revealing the method that they're about to use. Right. You got it. Uh -huh. Okay, hey, I'm bringing up a prescript and that Yaya, you know this is one of my favorite ones I love to bring out. This is Joel <laughs> 2 and 1. Blow ye the trumpets in Zion and sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble for the day of the Lord coming. For it is nigh at hand, and just like how you said, I mean the movie. Now, now the next one is Mike Zuckerberg about his bunker, and like I said, everybody's talking about. It, but yet, for the two third and the simple ones, it's going right over their head. You know well, why they why they building a bunker? You know what he trying to do? I'm looking like if you're not catching the clues of what is out there, you're going to miss every damn day. Right. And then. Hey, and but it also Boy. goes back to the precept that the uh, um Hasha brought out. You know, a prudent man foresee the evil hide of himself. Hey, mm -hmm. uh, on the left hand side, Mark Zuckerberg, he see the evil that's coming. He mm -hmm. know what's about to come down the pipe. So yep. hey, he's trying to prepare a bunker. He's trying to get himself and his family protected because he know that how about Shah is about to send that wrath. Yep. Not yeah, not just him. Oh. Well, I'll talk you, uh, the the majority of these Americans the, the reason they're asking why these things are happening is because they don't think America is going to be destroyed. Mm -hmm. They don't think this place is going to be touched. Mm -hmm. so they're like, why is, you know, why are they releasing these movies? Cause there's two movies on, you know, there's that movie and that movie civil war that's coming out this summer. Yeah. You know? So, uh, next summer, so lucky, but, uh, they, they think, that this place is going to keep going on forever, even though Esau eat them and all the signs are there, man. It's like uh, when your dashboard starts blinking all the lights, mm -hmm. you know, Jake's still driving the fucking car, you know? <laughs> hey, and Jake, but Jake, <laughs> hey, but Jake see the signs in the movie because yeah. I, I was talking to some people in the world and they were talking about the movie and they were saying, see, you see, the, yeah, yeah, that could happen. But they don't understand that those things are going to happen. Right. They they still looking at it as though it's just entertainment. You know, right. they just looking as though like, oh well, yeah, those things could come to pass. No, they are going to come to pass. You know. I got a quick one. This is uh, Isaiah thirty four and sixteen. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. No one of these shall fail. None shall want her mate. For my mouth it had commanded, and the spirit it had it had gathered them. Mm. So yeah, none of the, none of the prophecies are gonna fail, man. These things are already written, like you said. Um, all people saying that it could happen. No, it's gonna happen, man. It's already mm -hmm. written, man. The Lord said His word should not return unto Him void. 
So, mm. so these things are, are, are guaranteed to happen 100%, man. Mm. And the elites on the left hand side, of course, ultimately, it's y'all by Shimma Washa telling you what's about to come on the earth, man. Mm -hmm. Hey, that's a that's a good one too because it says none shall want her mate. When you look at all these other philosophies and all these yep. religions, mm -hmm. none of them are prophets. You know, none of them are focused on the prophecies, man. Yep. You mm -hmm. know, none of them are focusing on what's happening right now or what's about to happen. Yep. You know, niggas is talking about you know uh, uh, Egyptology. And that shit ain't got no prophecies in it, man. Yep, the Quran and all that, man. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. Mm -hmm. the not the even that. Church, they're not talking about World War Three. Nope. They're shit, the Christians. Mm -hmm. When you look at these pastors, especially the the black church, was a joke. Yeah. yeah. These <laughs> niggas is out here doing skits and talking about <laughs> relationships. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, no, they over there now. These mega churches doing um. Christmas pageant shows now. You know, they over here. Yeah, they over here because, you know, Christmas next week, they over here doing the, the, the you know, the, the sceneries and stuff like that, bringing in live animals in the church. Yeah, the nativity. I'm like, yeah, I'm looking like y'all just don't know hell is just around the corner, and this is what y'all doing right now. Right. They about to have mm -hmm. the, the, the praise dances and the meme, the mimes. Mm-hmm. With the white gloves, mm -hmm. out. with the white, <laughs> the white faces, yeah. like <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you got the um, you got G, uh, the so called um, Jesus and Mary and and, and um, Joseph, you know, mm -hmm. in the little, you know, yep. doing the so called, yeah, the major. The major. yeah. And I, I call him Jimmy and, and and what what the woman and Karen, and Jimmy and Karen, Jimmy and Karen, <laughs> yeah, Jimmy and Karen. <laughs> But that's yeah, not Joseph and Mary, man. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. I got I got one real quick. Uh, going back to what y'all was bringing up about Mark Zuckerberg and uh, about the <laughs> and all that, because uh, you know basically uh, they like low low uh, low levels of the elite, like basically like insiders. So like they in the know of what's about to come to pass. So. Um, mm -hmm. This is a uh, Psalms chapter 64, verse 1. It says, Hear my voice, O Lord, uh, O power, in my prayer, preserve my life from the fear of that enemy. Hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked, from in the from the in, from the insurrection, insurrection of the workers of iniquity, who let their tongues, who let their tongue like a sword and bend their bows to shoot their arrows, even to the words. That they may shoot in secret at the perfect. Suddenly, do they shoot at him and fear not? They encourage themselves in that evil matter. They commune of laying snares privately, and they say, "Who shall see them?" They search out out iniquities. They accomplish a diligent search. Both the inward thought of every one of them that a heart is deep. Just the point, basically, it says. But the Most High shall shoot it, shoot at them with a arrow. Suddenly shall they be wounded, mm -hmm. and they shall make their own tongue fall amongst themselves. And all they that that see, so like all they that see them shall flee away. And right, because uh, the secret counsel of the wicked man, you know they 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 shoot at, you know, because this whole thing is about Jacob and Esau. You know, and they, and you know, the the upper elite, you know, uh, they know this, and you know, they prepare because they know what's about to happen. They make a war against Jacob, you know, because that's the whole, you know, Jacob's trouble. It's it's a it's an attack against the so-called Negro, Latino, and Native American. You know what I'm saying? And they hold uh, agenda of establishing the NWO, but you know, the whole time the Lord see them, you know. They making these plans is coming out. Oh, you know these elites. They making these bunkers and not all that. But Jake not paying attention. You know Jake not paying attention at all. Like what you think these people are doing this for, man? You know. Hey, and then um the Lord the Lord even used um Obama. You know <laughs> yeah, yeah. they main guy to come out and tell them what's about to come to pass. Cousin yep, Obama yep. and Michelle, they said they was yep. the producers of that movie, yep. you know, mm -hmm. 
And Jake's still looking at it and not understanding that, hey, um, Obama was in these secret meetings. You know, mm -hmm. Obama yep. was watching and see what was going on, you know? So he's just using plain sight. He putting it right in front of you and telling you what's going on. And the movie even said it. He said that um um the guy that was he was a part of a secret cabal. Yep. Uh huh. Yep. You know that was the most important scene in that movie, man. Right. Right. And you know, yep. and the thing is, he made light of it because he said it like it was a joke. Yeah. But he stole really Jake off the truth. Yep. You know. And so that you know that went over a lot of these Jake's heads, man. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah, and then, uh, you know, okay. <laughs> Jake yeah. hears stuff like that and think it's conspiracy. Yep. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's cause conspiracy like, theory. Yeah, because like uh El Apostle Gabal always say, man, the truth, all right, Esau tells the truth in jest, man. So he made he like you said, that was the most important scene in the movie, but they made it they made it humorous. So it went over a lot of our people's heads, man. They think, like you said, they they deem it a conspiracy, man. Like like it's not like it ain't gonna happen. But right. but that's mm -hmm. how Esau all uh, tells the truth, man. In jest. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because yep. when you look at these um these cartoons, hey, even even Jake in the world, when you're on the job, you know Jake would be laughing and joking, telling you a joke, but he really saying what he really want to say, you yep. know. But he like you say, he do it through joking and playing, you know. Um, I got a, I got oh you got one bring it out oh, I got one up here. Uh, uh, Isaiah forty six and uh, ten. It said declaring the end from the beginning and from the ancient times, things that are not yet done, saying my counsel to stand, and I will do all my pleasure. And see that's what Jake ain't understanding, man. You know, he's uh he's was speaking through his movies, man. You know, mm -hmm. also the prophets are speaking. We tell them that hey, the end is here, man. Yep. You know, and, and, and it's, it's plain to see, man. All the signs are in place, man. That that the end of this world is at hand, man. Hey, and if you think about it, uh, uh I know you bros been watching. Uh, I think you, um, I think a shot and another couple of y'all bros when they watch Oppenheimer. Um, think about it. They just brought that movie out. Then they just came out with this. One. So it's like, man, it's like the Lord is speaking <laughs> to Jake, like warning Jake. You know, like if you're not gonna listen to my prophets around the highways and byways, I'm gonna speak to you through Esau. You know, hey, hey, and that, Jake's that still what, not getting it. Hey, that's what the right. scripture said. They ain't gonna have no cloak for they sins, man. For the, hey, the truth out there, right? Yeah, you know, like, like yeah. We, we speaking on the right, that right hand side, and and the Lord speaking on the left hand side through these movies, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I got one. We gotta get a chance. Oh, okay. Yeah, hey, I, got, I got a quick one. I got a quick one, real quick. Okay. All right. Uh, Ezekiel 12 and 27. Son of man, behold, they of the house of Israel say the vision that he seeth is for many days to come. And he prophesied of times that are far off. Mm. Therefore, saith unto them, thus saith the Lord power. There shall none of my words be prolonged anymore, but the word which I have spoken shall be done, saith Yahweh by Shem Yahweh You know, so hey, when Jake hears out here on the highways and byways speaking, saying doom and gloom, you know, saying that hey, you don't have anything good to prophesy about. You're always talking about the negative. You're not bringing out anything positive. You're always getting on to our people. We getting on to you because we out here warning you. You can't come soft with Jake, man. You got to be stern. You got to be stoic. You can't um play with Jake, man. Because look what look look what playing and coming soft and weak has done for, to the Baptist Church. You mm -hmm. know, they they on every comedian uh, comedy show um possible. You know, because nobody take them serious. Nobody look at them as though they are men of the Lord. You mm -hmm. know. Well, they look at these pastors as they men of the Lord, but like mm -hmm. said, man, really and truly, in these they get mocked. How they know? get mocked? Yep. Yeah, and the scriptures say his words will be not prolonged anymore. So yeah, how about Shemal Shah is about to make a speedy a speedy riddance of this place? Because when you look at America, man, look look at the nasty, the filthy, the the lewd. The, the nastiness of this place, man. When you got a, a, a grown man 
that can say that he's going to cut his penis off, you know, and become a woman, that show you that this place is going too far. You know, there's no there's no fix in this place, man. You know, the scriptures say I would I would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. You know, so the Lord is not the Lord is not trying to heal this place. The Lord got a judgment for Babylon the Great, aka America, and it's fire. All right. Mm -hmm. And that's the only thing that this place can can get, man. That's the only thing that's gonna make this place right, you know. Yep. Shalom, you had one. Yeah, I got one. Uh, this this is Ze uh, Zephaniah one and fourteen. The great day of the Lord is near. It is near, and hastes greatly. Even the voice of the day of the Lord, the might the mighty men shall cry there bitterly. Fifteen. That day, oh, that day is a day of wrath. A day of trouble and distress, a day of wasteness and desolation. Hey, what of, you say? Uh, hold up. You say the mighty men should cry there bitterly, man. You know, mm -hmm. hey, what that man, what that man was doing on the movie? He said he was yep. crying because he lost his way. He couldn't even mm -hmm. find his way back home because he didn't have a GPS. So he was crying, man. He was in tears. Yeah. Yep. Hey, uh, cause too, you know how we be discussing on the highways and byways that convenience. Yeah, right. Babylon the Great, that convenience is going to catch up with a lot of these, uh, you know, Americans, you know, these right. Babylonians, that, that, that convenience is yeah. going to catch up with you because when the GPS gone, when the internet gone, when the fast food gone, now mm -hmm. the reality going to set in. Yeah. You know, and you ain't used and, to uh, cooking their own, you know, hunting and cooking their own food. They not used to, you know, because back in the day, I remember like my granddaddy used to tell me, like, you know, they used to know how to read maps. Mm -hmm. my granddaddy used yeah. to have this little, this little pamphlet of maps, and they used to read maps before GPSs even came out, and that that don't even exist no more. Mm -hmm. And that's the spirit, because uh, in that day, man, hey, that's when uh, Isaiah, I believe it's Isaiah four. When it says a man shall be more precious than fine, I will make a man more precious than, than fine gold. Yep. Mm -hmm. Because, uh, uh, you know, there are certain men who know how to do these things, you know? Mm -hmm. There are certain men who know how to start a fire, who know how to, uh, uh, you know, hunt, how to uh, read maps, how to navigate, you know, because there was life before this technology, man. Mm -hmm. right, yep. You know? Yep. And a and a and a real like like you know like a, like we said a prudent man, he'll know that this this stuff is temporary, man. Mm -hmm. You know the scripture even says like the, the way you know the fashions of the world are passing away, you know, and to mm -hmm. turn back to the old past, man, those things are gonna be very precious in that day, man. Hey, and that's beautiful that you said that Art, because when you look at um all six of us brothers here on this live. You know, each brother probably can do something that can um suffice us in that time. You know, you got one brother might be good at fishing. One brother might be good at building a fire. One brother might be good at skinning the deer. You know, one one brother might be good at, at, at stocking up wood or knowing the different herbs, you know, different things like that. So those things are going to come to pass. That's going to make a man more precious than gold in that time because the Lord has gave you that inspiration, you know, and that's going to be a Hebrew Israelite man. You know? Yep, and, yep, and earlier right before uh, movie was and young brother Yonka, you brought up earlier how the guy said in the movie, he said he not he ain't nothing with his GPS and stuff like that. So that's right mm -hmm. there, a mighty man. That's right there, a mighty man who's crying. He'd be like, okay, all the technology gone. I don't know what to do. I'm like, yeah, mm -hmm. you lost. No, yeah, like a young mm -hmm. brother James and your bitch Shaquille O'Neal's and all that. Mm -hmm. Right, you know what I'm saying they so used to riches. Yep. And they you know they ain't gotta do nothing. That's you know those are mighty men. You, mm -hmm. know, you know the Floyds and all that. But hey, that was a good point you made. Uh, I, uh that mm -hmm. uh, young car. You know, like brothers might have different skills. Right. But that you know, like when when you said that, like shoot, you know the Lord had it to where I used to work in industry where I, you know I was I slaughter animals. Right. Exactly. You know I mean? So like in that day, but you know. If I'm in the, if I'm in the wilderness, like I would I would like me personally, I would know exactly what to do. And that's right. the 
so that was a great point like you know right and also too uh um i knew your brother was looking we was talking about earlier when the um the planes was falling out of the air mm -hmm. hey what also did you see you seen a man stepping over dead bodies you yeah. know let's say a thousand on one side uh uh, uh ten thousand yep. on another and he was mm -hmm. just stepping over dead bodies man and he was losing his mind because like we always bring out on the highways and byways brothers they really ain't never seen a dead body before this man seen thousands of dead bodies out there on the beach you know right. yep another thing that brought to my attention when that scene happened was that uh that emp mm -hmm. you know that electric magnetic pulse right when the flames started flying you know uh he, he had that scene when he went to one of the neighbor's house and he was trying to get connection with the radio yep. all that so it, you know the, the emp tests gonna come too you know mm -hmm. And things of that nature, but you got it. Yep. Yeah, yeah, you. man. You always say you got some up. Yeah, second edge was fifteen because you know that's that's pretty much the the whole movie. Mm -hmm. um, I'm gonna start at uh at nine. Second edge was fifteen and nine. Is uh second edge is fifteen and verse nine. It says, and therefore said the Lord. I will surely avenge them and receive unto me all the innocent blood from among them. Behold, my people is led as a, as a flock to the slaughter. I will not suffer them to dwell in the land of Egypt, but I will bring them with a mighty hand and a, and a stretched out arm and smite Egypt with plagues as before and will destroy all the land thereof. And that's what that movie was pretty much depicting, you know, and it was the and it was the good side, man. You know, mm -hmm. that was the yep. suburbs. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, because, yeah, it was being uh, that uh, which is really like a sequel to the Bushwick movie. You mm -hmm. know, Bushwick was in the city. Yeah, it was oh, man. It was way worse than that movie. <laughs> hey, uh, but guess what though? At the end of the movie. Well, do you see they show the city getting fucked up, man? Yep. The yep. city yep. was getting, hey, it was getting ravaged, man. Yep. You yep. know, and they yep. were sitting back looking at the chaos, looking at the the, the, the um the, the explosions going off. You yep. got up. Well, they kept oh, saying, was... they kept saying, you don't want to be in the city right now. Ain't yeah. Hey, uh -huh. and that matter of fact, uh, I'm sorry, it's like uh, you may actually made a good point. That could actually be a a, a a prequel to Bushwick. Be like, hey, this is this one, and when they show that scene with them in the city, it could cut right on over to Bushwick and show you the inside of that. Right. Too, another thing, uh, these people ain't watched Bushwick. No. Yeah, nah, <laughs> nah. <laughs> that, that, hey, hey uh, that was only for the brothers. Yeah. <laughs> they would have lost their damn mind on that. <laughs> another, another precept that I took mind when I was watching the movie, that scene when all them Tesla's cars was crashing, yeah. it reminded mm -hmm. me of uh, sec, uh, sec, Second Edges uh, of <coughs> going to a city and not shall be able yep. to. Yep. You, know, yep. hey, you know, they they was trying to get back to the city, but guess what? Bam, the Lord blocked the, uh, the freeway. Mm -hmm. I, I, that, that's what came to my mind when I seen that sound. Like, Damn, they trying to get back to the city. Uh oh, nope. Yep, no. and that's why, and that's where that little kid, not little kid, that young man said, "Well, what are we gonna do now?" I like shit. You better run. <laughs> you better do get the hell up from out. Hey, hey, even even when they the um they went to I think it was Kevin Bacon when they went to Kevin Bacon house and they were trying to get the medicine. Hey, what do you say? The money was no good. You know, mm -hmm. he said, I thought we was going to get back to bartering, you know, but he took the money anyway. But that show you right there that the money is not going to be any good. He said, we, we're going to get back to our bartering system where when you got what I need, we're going to swap out, you know? Right, right. Ooh, yep. Yeah, the and then says, uh, neither their silver nor their gold I'll shall just deliver them in that day. Ooh. Yep. Just and then another part. And then another part of that movie, yeah, if y'all remember when they been inside that tiny little cabin or hut inside the woods, and all of them they have been around. I'm looking, and they mm -hmm. fucked that up. I'm looking like how to see the most high was gonna help you out with some deer, and you screwed that up. Mm -hmm. All the deer, all the deer just looked at them and scattered. I'm looking like nope, see, mm -hmm. <laughs> see, Eastside, you don't gonna follow. We don't fuck something up. That was, mm -hmm. that was, <laughs> that, 
that was weird. I ain't going to lie. That scene. Yeah, it was a weird scene. I'm looking like, okay, they, they, they got food. It's right there. It should be easy for them here because the deer been close enough to touch. But it's Not like, because mm-hmm. the, the biggest deer came up out of out of uh, all the other deer. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Like, was he about to attack or... Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, I thought I was gonna. Like, they, they yeah, 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 because you know, teeth the wild beast. I look like yeah, they're yeah. gonna fuck their ass up. But uh, but after I looked at, I look like when I saw the prequel, uh, not prequel, the uh, the trailer. I like wait a minute. That I said it could be the most high. You know, giving them some food. Hey, like hey, look, hey, here you go. Hey, to me, to me, it looked like the deer was looking at him like, hey, you in our place now. Now you back on our level, you know? <laughs> like, you running for your life. You in danger for your life now. Right, you know? right. Nope. Yeah. You know? Uh, it's, a, it's some more on this. I keep going. It says, um, it says, but I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretch out arm and smite Egypt with plagues as before and will destroy all the land thereof Egypt shall mourn, and the foundation of it shall be smitten with the plague, and the punishment of Yahweh shall bring upon it. Yeah, and that that uh that foundation, the plague that's gonna smite the foundation, is those nukes, man. Mm-hmm. All right, which they showed that in the movie as well, when those nukes was going off in the city. You know, it says, and they. Um, and they that till the ground shall mourn, for the seed shall fail through the blasting of hell, and for a fearful constellation. Woe unto the world and them that dwell therein, for the sword in their destruction draweth nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another, and swords in their hand. For there shall be sedition among men, and invading one another, they shall not regard their king nor their princes. And the course of their actions shall stand in their power. Yes. There's going to be civil war, sedition. You know? And uh, like like that, like we keep talking about that scene uh, with Kevin Bacon. All right? When they went to go get that medicine. You know, mm-hmm. People are not going to be friends in that day, man. There ain't going to be no, oh, I, I knew you back in the world. I knew you. No, man. It's survival of the fittest at this point. Right, Ooh, right. hey, and that's beautiful you say that uh, because remember the the so-called black man he was looking at him like hey man we was friends yeah you know we, we used to hang out together i used to come to your house you go to my house right. but look when it came down to those rations came down to a little bit of food right. that he's been stocking on stocking up on and preparing for hey he was willing to die about it right hey you heard you heard what he said he said that's the old way Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, yeah. yeah. So, um, I got one. This is uh, this is second. That is chapter six. Damn, you beat me to it. <laughs> I'm gonna jump. Says, uh, I, I'm gonna start at eighteen. I'm gonna jump. It says, and it, and I said, behold, the day, sh- the day shall come that I will draw nigh and will visit them that dwell upon earth, and I will begin to make. Ing- inclination of what they what they be that have hurt unjustly with their unrighteousness and when they afflict the sons of uh, uh, Sion be fulfilled it said and when the world that shall begin to vanish away shall be finished then will I show thee these tokens and the book shall be open before the permanent they shall see all together I'm going to jump down to 22 it says, and suddenly shall the stone places appear on stone. Mm. The, fu- the full storehouses shall suddenly be found empty. And the triumph shall give a sound, which ev- which when every man heareth, they shall be suddenly afraid. Mm. And at that time shall friends fight one against another like enemies. And then the earth shall stand in fear with those that dwell therein. And the springs of the fountains shall stand still, and in three hours they shall not run. Yeah, hey, that's beautiful. Hey, mm-hmm. uh, like you say, man, you know, you're not going to be able to go into the, the grocery stores, man, to go get food. Uh-huh. You know, 
they weren't even allowed, they weren't even able to get back to a town or a city, man. Mm -hmm. Because the way these, the way these state routes and whatever, what, the way they set up, all you had to do is block the lanes and that's it. Right. Yep. Mm -hmm. Cut off transportation to these cities. Very easy, man. All right. All right. I mean, even now, just look how they just without nothing happen. You only need one slow person in the right lane, and right. you got traffic jam. Right. <laughs> hey, well, that's just, well, that's just you, everyday commute. Well, if you look at it, uh, hey, it's just like what happened on the road. You know, these mm -hmm. people uh, stored up all this food, had everything prepared with a bunker, yep. and couldn't make it back. Right. Nope. Yep. Right. Hey, another and, point too. Like I think the brother, the elder from Vegas, he had brought it out. He was basically saying, uh, you're not, you know, those people, they went out, they thinking they going on a vacation. Right. Mm -hmm. And, hey, all of a sudden, like, you know, how the scriptures say, you know, uh, the day of the Lord shall come like a thief in the night. You know, they didn't know. It just happened suddenly. They thinking they going on vacation and all that. And it just happened suddenly. So that that was another uh, little precept that came to mind. You know? Mm hmm there was another point in there, Bob Kushak. Can you um go back about, go back about two verses? All right, uh, second edge chapter six said two verses. Yeah. Uh. Uh, twenty. Yeah. Let's try that. Yeah. Uh, second edge six and twenty says, "And when the world." So like it says, and when the world they shall begin to vanish away, shall be finished, then will I show these tokens. The book shall be opened before the firmament, and they shall see all together. Up to one. Mm -hmm. uh, hey, uh, um, and not only that, uh, when you think about it too, man. Hey, when he was sitting down and he was telling that story, he said people gonna say it was China. They were saying it was uh, Saudi Arabia. But he was like, they don't think that it, it, it's something much more, the more than they can explain. Going into the Heavenly Father, man. You know, he's yeah. controlling all this hell that's coming, man. You know, he's the one that's doing all these things, man. You know, just like during the times of Moses, when he went back and um and all those places was coming. You know, they hey, you got to take into consideration, man. This is of your high about Shema It was uh, that trumpet. It was the... Uh which verse and the trumpet shall give a sound, yep. which every man heareth. Okay, yeah. Um, and they shall be suddenly yeah. afraid. Hey, yeah, was, uh, when they were going back to the city. Yeah, it was uh, the siren going off. Yep, that's that trumpet. You know. Yep. It, you know that big horn that the, you know every city has when there's trouble, like a mm -hmm. hurricane or something like that. It, it was tornado. going off, and the little girl was like, "What is that?" You know. She was afraid. So, hey, that hey, that movie was on point, man. In, in mm -hmm. terms of biblical prophecy, man, you know. Yeah, and they had a, they had. I think it was the, I think it was part three that was entitled the uh the noise. The noise. Right, they were hearing oh, that noise, yeah. and, and the people were covering their ears. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so yeah, that was that was heavy, man. It's a, you know prophetic movie. Yeah. Because, yep. Hey, the Lord is going um uh Salaki. Let me let me bring this out. Uh, Isaiah. 13 and 5, it says for actually I'm going to start at 4 it says the noise of a multitude in the mountains like as of a great people, a tumultuous noise of the kingdoms of great nations gathered together the Lord of hosts mustereth the host to the battle they come from a far country, from the end of heaven even the Lord and the weapons of his indignation to destroy the whole land all right and when you you know they had that pamphlet that they were dropping off mm -hmm. and brothers translated the pamphlet and they said yeah. that they had the most powerful weapons on the earth uh -huh. you know so those are the weapons of yahweh shah's indignation right and you had that scene uh too when they was all in the uh like the living room area i guess and the little teenage boy he was the only one that knew what it meant and then said death to, you know, yeah. a, a baba ball. I'm going to say that. Mm -hmm. they said a baba ball, you know. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh. So that was a. Hey. 
Yeah, man. The Lord is going to empty that, you know, empty out, you know, bring forth all those weapons, man. We, they mm -hmm. got weapons that we never heard about. Like, you know, one that will uh, affect your brain like that, that noise. It, hey, it was so bad, it said it made, the you know, the little boy's teeth. Out. Yeah, because it was causing that radiation. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then again, and then again, like how you said, you know, they over here sleeping on these countries, sleeping on these countries. You got Russia, Putin doing his thing. You got the president over there in China. They're doing their thing, and, and, every, and what everybody doing over here, celebrating this, celebrating that old pagan holiday just around the corner. Mm -hmm. Still trying to, still trying to figure out who's a man and who's a woman. Right. <laughs> hey, and you, um, you heard what the man say? He said, "Once we get it started." they'll end up destroying themselves, you know? Because you're going to start yep. fighting, like you said, for the rations, fighting for, yep. you know, survival, you know? Uh -huh. The strong survive. Yep. Yep. Let me um, let me finish off this second Ezra. Second Ezra 15 and 17, a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able, for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled and the houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid. Bros got it. Yeah, man. Yeah. Hey, the hey, it's gonna be destroyed, man. Because hey, the Lord has a has a sacrifice in Basra, man. Because all the different um nasty little acts, man. The Lord is tired of looking down and seeing this place, man. Hey, he even said in Genesis, it repented me that I had made man upon the earth. You know, hey, the Lord is tired of looking at these damn um two thirds of his own people walk around here being homos and, and flamers. You know, the Lord is tired of seeing that, man. You know? So the best way to get rid of it is what? Burn it with fire, man. Mm-hmm. Just, like just like how the farmers, that, how my, um, my great, my <coughs> uncles and great uncles used to say, how they used to clear the, clear the field, burn the weed. Yep. Set a fire, watch, set a fire, watch it go. And it come back beautiful. Mm -hmm. yep. Stop it. And stop the pressure. And that's what two thirds of these Negroes gonna come back beautiful, man. Once you how yep. about outside burning with thermonuclear missiles, they're gonna come back beautiful in their right state of mind. Mm -hmm. You know, and like I said, if you ever get a chance, watch somebody burn a fuel and be like, man, that they look, it looks weird, it looks funny. Come back a month later, beautiful green grass. You'd be like, man, you wouldn't even know that. Wouldn't even know that bad boy was on fire. All right. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Um, I got pre seven. Let y'all bros got something. I got one. All right, bring it out. Isaiah uh, thirteen and uh and nine. Matter of fact, I did get uh I get eight. I started eight. I see a thirteen or eight. It says and they should be afraid, and pain and sorrow should take hold of them. They should be in pain at the woman that travailed. It says they should be amazed one at another. Their faces should be as flame. Behold, the day of the Lord cometh cruel, both with wrath and fierce anger, to lay the land desolate, and he should destroy the sinner thereof out of it. It's going back to what you said. Oh, hey, the Lord from the from the burn these people up, man. Mm -hmm. No, they don't know. The God of the Bible, man, the Lord is, is, a, is a terrible demon-like power, man. You know, mm -hmm. the Lord finna melt these people's flesh off they of they of their body, man. No. You know? Hey, you know, for like to... you say, for they for their sins though, man. Yep. Hey, and, and we always go into it. What is sin? Sin is transgression of the law. Hey, look, look at these lawless people, man. Look what they're doing. You know, they keep uh, every law that Esau, even the so-called white man has came up with. They keep that law, but they can't keep just two or three of the laws of your house. You know, so hey, the Lord is going to destroy them for that sin, man. That's why the scriptures say my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge, man. They don't want this knowledge right here. They don't want to know that Babylon the Great is going to be destroyed, you know. Because they want this place to keep on going. They want to make their mark in Babylon the Great. They want to be looked at as being successful here. Man, we want this place to be destroyed because the only way our kingdom can come is if Esau go down. Mm -hmm. Esau is the end of the world. Jacob is the beginning of the followers. You know, the, the elders shall serve the younger. 
That's the only way we gonna get on top. That's the only way we gonna come back to that prestigious state, man. Right. You know. Yeah, there's a uh, saying in the world. It says, uh, "Before beauty, there is pain." Mm hmm. You know. So, hey, man, it's gonna be some painful time, even for the hopeful elect, man. You know. Mm hmm. The description speaks about those gates, those straight gates that we're going to have to go through, man, those walks, the place of difficulties, man, you know, that we're going to have to go through, man, to get there. Mm -hmm. So hey, we've ha we having this grace period to prepare our minds, to prepare our spirits for this walk, man, that we got to face, you know, for yep. the hour of temptation. Because mm -hmm. even, um, even back at the... the a few camps back, brother Shaw, you made a good point. You say, "Hey, when trouble hit the fans, you got to leave your feelings behind." Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because they like you know, like I said, who wants to see an old lady get killed or some kid get killed or whatever? But hey, the most highest perspective of man, hey, you say kill Lily, old and young. Right. So. Oh man, there was another. Uh, there was another part of that movie that was important. Uh, he was talking to his daughter to. Uh, I forget the black dude name. I don't know his name, but uh, mm -hmm. the Jake in the movie, he was, he was, uh, his daughter was like, you know, in the in the end of the world, she said, in the end of the world, trust is not to be doled out. Yep. And she said, especially white people. Right. Mm. Yep. I remember that. <laughs> um, and and the, and the Jake, he was simple as hell because he risked his life. To save that little boy, and then he let them come back after they left his house. Mm -hmm. and, and 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 basically they were being all manner of disrespectful to them. You know, yep. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. that's two thirds of our people. Yeah, you know? they, yeah, especially the wacky tacky church. They can say, "Oh, oh, he's all about love. We're gonna open the door. We're gonna love everybody." That's just like letting a snake in your house. Yeah, so if you hey, let him in, oh, he bite everybody. Hey, but when you look at it, man. Hey, Julia Roberts, she was in her, the right spirit. She was yeah. acting like a true Edomite, man. Yep. You know? mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. You know? Like, don't trust them new niggas. Yeah. 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 Hey. Yeah. Because, hey, Jake. You got it. Oh, you got it. Uh, you got it. Go ahead. Yeah, because she didn't even want to believe that it was that it was their house that they was uh, living in. Like she just couldn't fathom that. Now nah, these these niggas can have something like this. She said he probably <laughs> he probably the handyman and the daughter. She probably the housekeeper. Right. <laughs> 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 so, yeah, she was, in, she was in that eat of my spirit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, she was being prudent. Even her husband, man, he was a fucking he yeah, was a yeah. Simp, bro. Yeah. 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 You know, yeah. she was being, she was being, she was the man. Like that scene with the Tesla. She got out the car. You feel me to go see what was going? On. I'm like, bro, what? Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 you know, she, like, shit, you gonna see what's going on? Yeah, when you, when you look at it, bro. But, but that's the spirit of America, bro. The women, yep. the women in those yep. movies, they yep. were in the right headspace, bro. Yeah, yep. like, hey, you know what I'm saying? We don't know what they doing, what they own. The black girl was like, "Oh, why the fuck we sleeping in the basement? We gonna do the laundry next?" Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but it show you um the spirit uh Esau Edom the white man too because yeah. every time hell started happening, what he did, he wanted to start crying. Right. You know, he yep. turned into a woman, man. He started crying yep. just like Esau cried when he lost his birthright, man. He wanted mm -hmm. to start crying and, 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 and wanted to kill himself, man. Yeah. You know, he yep. wanted to die. He wanted Kevin Bacon to shoot him in that yard, man. So he didn't have to deal with that shit, man. Oh, yeah. There could be a lot of them where when Jacob Trevor off with all hell break loose. Oh, these people try. Hey, it's going to be massive inside. Yeah, like you said, mm -hmm. the, the mighty men shall cry there bitterly because a lot of these mm -hmm. men. Even though they might be like 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 we, we speak about how in the ancient world they might have been warriors. Mm -hmm. But this society has raised a bunch of uh sissy. <laughs> Just saying sissies. <laughs> you know, a bunch of effeminates, man. All right. And in that day, man, it, hey, it's gonna be we're gonna see that it's gonna separate the literally the boys from the men. Mm -hmm. I got I got myself out the back. Go ahead, 
Isaiah 19 and 16. It says, In that day shall Egypt be like unto women, and it shall be afraid and a fear because of the shaking of the hand of the Lord, Yahweh of hosts, which shake up over it. Right. Got it. Mm -hmm. hey, this, hey, it's going to be like women. And uh, uh, we, we know that Queen of Heaven spirit is, is heavy in America. Mm -hmm. They 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 are uplifting these women. Uh, they're putting these women on a pedestal. You had a damn. It was Will Ferrell. He just had a speech talking about how uh, it's time for women to run the world. You know we're doing a bad job. The men are not doing a good job. And he said we've had it for ten. He said we've had it since ten thousand BC, and we're just not doing a good job. But we're gonna see. You know. Well, hey, but you see? can, but you can see a woman cannot run the world because she's too emotional, man. Right. You know, mm -hmm. she think with her emotions. She don't think logically, man. You yeah. know, oh, all she, she with, but, huh? Oh no, no, obviously, yeah, you're right. She think with her emotion and her and with her body. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, you already see the results of that because the Lord already showed you that she's not capable. Look at the house. Mm -hmm. Nate. Nate. Yep. She allowed the government to lock it. The Lord allowed the woman to run the household. And look at the results of it. Mm -hmm. The monsters running around being deviants and looting and killing and just being like, you know, like Apostle Ricard always say, just, you know, GMO babies, man. So she had mm -hmm. her, she had her opportunity. And, you, and we see that she's not capable, capable to leave. So All right. Hands, you know? Mm-hmm. Beautiful. But uh, I, I was hoping I was hoping uh old one too. You can bring it out. Bring it out. Uh this is uh Ezekiel chapter seven verse three. It says now it is the end come upon thee, and I will send my anger upon thee, and will judge thee according to thy ways. And will recompense upon thee all all of thy abominations. Verse four, it says, "And my eyes shall not spare thee, neither will I have will I have pity, but I will recompense thy ways upon thee, and thy abominations shall be in the midst of thee, and ye shall know that I am the Lord." Hey, these people! Hey, these people gonna know that this is the Lord, man. When these people see people dying at mass rates, man. They're going to know that Yahweh Bashim Al-Shah is the one that's controlling all these things, man. They're going to see Yahweh Bashim Al-Shah really let go, man. You know, he's really going to turn up in the spirit, man. Because these people right now, you see a car wreck and everybody start crying and screaming. You see a little baby get, um, get put to death in a car wreck. They, get, they lose their mind, you know. Like, you're going to actually see death on a, on a wide scale. You know, mm -hmm. and and everybody gonna know it's your how about shot, man. <laughs> hey, the Lord say every every knee shall bow, and every tongue shall confess. You know, and how is that confession gonna come? It's gonna come through fear. Con, I got more. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, Ezekiel seven and five. It said, "Thus saith the Lord, your how about shot, power." And evil and only evil, behold, is come. And bad times and only bad times are going to come. That's it. Bad times. Go ahead. Uh. Verse 6. And the end is come. The end is come. It watches for thee. Behold, it is come. Verse yeah, seven. man. Hey, but that's, that goes back to the precept you brought out earlier. You know, hey, at the end, it's just speak and not lie. Hey, hey, when the end come, it's gonna speak and not lie. You're gonna know that this is it right here. This is that that shebang bang right here. You know? Go ahead. Uh -huh. Say the morning has come unto thee, O thou that the well is in the land. The time has come, the day of trouble is near, and not the sounding again of the mountains. It says, Now will I shortly pour out my fury upon thee and accomplish my anger upon thee, and I will judge thee according to thy ways. And will recompense thee for all that abominations. And my eyes shall not spare, neither will I have pity. I will recompense thee according to thy ways and thy abominations that are in the midst of thee. And ye shall mm. know that I am the Lord, Yahweh, that smiteth. Hey, and in this movie, it's going to be part one, Jacob's Trouble. 
Part two, our temptation. Part three, the world, third world's war. Part four, second, second death. You know yeah. that that's gonna be the part of this movie, man. Yo. You know. Well, I got a precept. All right. Hey, that's a beautiful. Hey, that was beautiful. That hey, that reminds me of uh, it shall be as if a man leaned him on a wall. Mm-hmm. Yep. From a snake and a and a lion metal. Mm -hmm. Uh, Jeremiah 16 and 3 it says thus said the Lord concerning the sons and concerning the, the daughters that are born in this place and concerning their mothers that bear them and concerning their fathers that begot them in this land they shall die of grievous death they shall not be lamented Neither shall they be buried, but they shall be as dung upon the face of the earth, and they shall consume. It says, and they shall be consumed by the sword and by famine, and their carcass shall be the meat of the fowls of heaven and for the beasts of the earth. Oh, that's good. That's mm. I, I had it in Jeremiah 25 33, though. Okay. You, hey, bring it up. Hey, and that's beautiful, man, because like, you know, just going back toward the, uh, how we open up talking about that movie, you know, um, when they went into the little cabin, you seen an impression of somebody laying in the, um, the, the, the leaves. And then when you looked out the window, you can see them looking at the house. And that goes also into the elect. They gonna be able to look and laugh. When your fear come as a desolation, when your calamity come like a whirlwind, we should, hey, we gonna sit back and laugh, man. You know, we're gonna be laughing when you catching hell, when you in your fear. We're gonna have a bird's eye view, a window seat, you know. Right. You got it, huh? My God, Ezekiel 21 and, and uh nine. Son of man prophesied, say, thus said the Lord, say a sword, a sword is sharpened. And also furbus. It is sharpened to make a sword slaughter. It is furbish that it may glitter. Should we mm. then make mirth? It could timber the rod of my son as every tree. And he has given it, given it to be furbished that it may be handled. This sword is sharpened, it is furbished to give it to the hands of the slayer. Crowling, crying how, son of man, for it should be upon my people. It should be upon all the princes of Israel. Terrors by reason of the sword should be upon my people. Smite therefore upon thy thigh, because it is a trial. And what is the sword contemptible, even the rod, it should be no more, said the Lord God. You know, looking at these movies, you know, uh, 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 the, the one we're talking about now, then you got the Civil War, man. Hey, this is that sword, the sword being sharpened, man. He saw it letting you know, man. Hey, he, even get ready to come down with great rail, man. Right. Uh -huh. You know, it's it, it really coming from the Lord, man. The Lord about to put a, a lot of our people to death, you know, for their rebellion. But they were telling you. Real quick. Uh, this is Luke 19, verse 13 says, For the day shall come upon thee that thy enemies shall cast a trench about thee and compass thee around and keep them on every side, and shall lay thee even with the ground, and thy children with thee, and they shall not leave. Indeed, one stone upon another, because thou not knewest the, not the time of thy visitation, and that's 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 what's coming upon uh Jake, man. Jacob's trouble, you know, and because Jake not taking heed to the time of the Lord's visitation, like you know, we brought at at the beginning of the uh of the that uh second edges nine and one, measuring the times diligently. Jake not. They not they not taking heed to the time of the Lord's visitation. See, the Lord about to come back. Right. But in the midst of that, before he come back, you know, all these type of calamities about to come to pass. You know, the children down in the street, you know, when they say lay even with the ground, hey, that mean hey, these damn foot soldiers, these UN troops, these NATO uh troops, hey man, they gonna be putting you Jakes and you Americans to the ground, man. Uh, sparing none, the Lord is gonna have them, uh, uh, wicked spirits on them to do so, man. You know, spirits created for vengeance, you know, all these things about to come to pass, but it's about to, the, 
it's about to be much on a higher level. Oh, I got one to get you. You got it. Uh, go ahead. Okay. Uh, yeah, because it's going in like what you just said, you know, when, you know, when these foreign troops and not just foreign troops, you can even have something over here. You got the with the neo-Nazis still going around. You can have the Ku Klux Klan coming out of the woodworks. Oh, yeah. So it's, it, it ain't going to be just foreign troops. It could be some some American people over here who be like, shit, I've been with me. I, I want to shoot me a nigger any damn way. Yeah. So they could be out there want to go on out there, too. But when I'm getting at this could be second address. I'm going to start at 18 to, to 22. Uh, it says the beginning of sorrows and great mourning, the beginning of famine and great death, the beginnings of wars and the powers shall stand in fear, the beginning of evils. What shall I do when these evils come? I shall come. 19. Behold, famine and plague, tribulation and anguish are set as a scourge of amendment. 20. But for all these things, they shall not turn, their, turn from their wickedness nor be always mindful of the scourges. 21. Behold, the victuals shall be as good, good cheap upon earth. They shall, they shall think themselves to be a good case, and even then shall evil grow upon earth. Sword, famine, and great confusion. Go ahead. Uh, oh, oh, yeah. Just like I said, like how we, we were saying earlier, when all hell is breaking loose, and just like in the movie, when the guy showed up with the dog with the money, that man said, "Man, what the? What I'm gonna do with that? That, that ain't good here. I'm here. I'm here for bottle. If you got rice, what you gonna trade me for the rice? Yeah, you got meat. What you gonna trade me for the meat? Right. You know. Um. Again, when all these stuff are happening, some people still ain't gonna pay attention to it. They're still gonna be in their ways of wickedness. Still trying to go to these churches. Still trying to run down these pastors, asking what's going on, and all it could do is gonna still feed them the so-called good news and stuff like that. Uh, let me finish up uh, number twenty-two. Uh, For many of them that dwell upon the earth shall perish of famine, and the other that escape hunger shall the sword destroy. Hey, and what the scripture tell you in um, Lamentations four and nine? Hey, it's better to die by the sword than die by mm -hmm. um by, by hunger. hunger. Yeah, you know? because they pine away, stricken for the want of uh food, man. You know, yep. hey, that's the worst worst way that you can die, man. You know, mm -hmm. because it's like your body eating and suffering inside out, man. Yep, and you know everybody else make fun of these kids over there in Africa. Like, oh man, look at these swollen bellies. I said, oh, you think that's funny now? You wait when it's your turn. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And when you look at what's going on um, with the, you know, with the forums and, and mm -hmm. with, with Jill Bates. All right. Hey, they're, they're cornering the market on this food. Mm -hmm. they, they're buying up these different farms. And uh, what they really ultimately want, they want these people to start eating bugs. Yep. You know, they want them to, uh, to, to stop eating meat. Right. Yep. Yep. You know, Cause just like a uh, oh, what's that's, that's, like hey, that's that family. You got uh, it. Yep. Hey, and I, just like uh, I was just uh, I was just talking with my mom uh, what, a couple of days ago, and she was telling me how uh, you know, my brother uh, you know, one of his baby mamas, she used to work at this Titan warehouse, and they just shut the whole thing down, just, just everybody out of jobs. The whole yeah. Tyson warehouse now, you know. Mm -hmm. And they just shut it down in, in uh, Columbia, South Carolina. Yep. Hey, well, you know, um, they just had that um, that recall on the Dino Nuggets. You know. Oh yeah. Where yep. yeah, where I think it was like what 30, 30 thousand pounds or something mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. You know that yep. they had recall. You know? Yep. And then uh, I was talking with uh, earlier before we started our camp. I was talking with Brother Yair. You know, we we just say now they just found a lot of fish that got herpes, the tilapia. Yeah. So right, right. yes. Yeah, so yeah. now they so now they even contaminating the food now. Even if you try to be like, well, you know, I I won't eat that. I'm gonna try to eat fish. Now they try to poison the fish. They um over in uh the Netherlands, if I'm not mistaken. Well, um, even if you go into the process, um, you know, just touching on it, when you go into the process of uh, how they breed the tilapia, they, I think they say mm -hmm. they breed in their feces or something like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, mm -hmm. They don't clean the water. Nope. Right. Yep, and even over in the, I think it's the, uh, the Netherlands before we got started, 
they the guy showed us wide open field brothers uh it had rain there nothing but hundreds upon hundreds of dead rain there in this open field and nobody didn't know how they died and the guys oh it, it was lightning strike i'm looking like so I'm like, so lightning just went around. They just started killing all. Of no, the guy said, "Nah, mm, they, no." They, they, you can actually tell they was hunted down and left there, just like how they did back in the Native Americans. How they hunt down all them buffaloes. They just killed them and left them there. Right. I remember a couple hey. months ago yeah. that you had you had um them farmlands with them cows. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I was just about to bring that up. Uh, mm -hmm. All the cows was just dying. Yep. Yep. Yeah, Time up for a, from a heat screw. For the, past, <laughs> for the past three years, Esau been burning down food processing factories. Yeah, mm -hmm. mysteriously, yeah. airplane know, crashes. Whole, whole factory <laughs> mysteriously catches fire. Catches fire. Yeah. Somehow this wide open field, this factory out in the middle of nowhere, wide open field, and that airplane just happened to land right at the factory. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you know, all the field he could have landed. Now he had to go for the building. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. The, it's, it's really not a lot of food, man. You know, mm -hmm. really, America mm -hmm. is running on, on on reserves, man. Yep. You know? And it could get it can get really bad, man. It could get really hey, bad. Hey, uh, and on top of that, you had a BRICS nation about to bring in their currency. Yep. Mm -hmm. You know, because we what we got what um I think what 14, 14 more days left in this month. Yep, just about. Yeah. Yeah, uh -huh. and and one day we we skipping over if the uh, brothers watch the news, y'all remember what happened in New York a couple of days ago? Yep. They had a power outage, so we yep. we still got and we just getting in the winter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that, that hey they they Biden said it hey get ready for a cold dark winter. Hey, and it New York been, it just been raining down here. Yeah, it's still raining where we're at. Flickering all yesterday, like the light just been flickering. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. I ain't never known for no rain just to like flicker the lights. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Unless it's like a no. thunderstorm. I got a preset. Right. Okay. You got one though? Go ahead, Doc. Ezekiel 4 and 16. Hey, that's the spirit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, moreover, he said unto me, Son of man, behold, I will break the staff of bread in Jerusalem, and they shall eat bread by weight and with care. And they should drink water by measure and with astonishment that they may want bread and water and be a stone with, with one another and consume away for their iniquity. You know, and, and that's what's going on, man. Y'all talking about these these uh Bill Bill Gates and you know with all these uh you know hoarding up all this land, man. You know, that's mm -hmm. all they're doing, man. You how about small shot using them to break the staff and the bread, man? Mm-hmm. You know? mm -hmm. It's that judgment, man. Mm -hmm. you know, the Lord is pissed off with you Israelites, man. You know, even to get you where, where you gonna feel it at, man. That's your stomach. Mm -hmm. Cause you know, Jake, well, they love to eat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, eat big too. I got one real quick. This is Tobit chapter four, verse thirteen. It says, "Now therefore, my son, love thy brethren and despise not in thy heart thy brethren." The sons and daughters of thy people is not taking a wife of them. It says, For pride is destruction and much trouble, and lewdness is decay and great want. For lewdness is the mother of famine. Right. And that's what, oh, oh, you had something? No, you got it. Oh, no, yeah, that's what you see all around by around the great man. You just see lewdness, man. And that's why the Lord gonna bring this flat, this famine because. It's just like nowadays, like people don't have no type of morals. You know, you got sets all over the internet. You got a woman uh, walk around in public just naked. You know, like they, not, you know, mm -hmm. it's just nothing but looting is in Babylon and great. Like you literally just get to do whatever you want and just get away with it. So that's why the Lord going to bring this famine, man, because that's going to be the judgment thereof, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know? And and just to back what you just said, brother Michael, I remember what uh what YouTube just said not too long ago. They can start allowing nudity on their on it on uh that thing now. But yet oh, oh. if we but yet now if we bring the truth, oh no, we get we know now that that's misinformation. We can't let y'all do that. We gotta shut y'all off. Right. But but now you can bring nudity to YouTube. Right. 
Exactly. And not only that, man, like even on some of our videos, I was looking on my um email and I got a scratch all the way from uh February 2020. You know? <laughs> so you know why why did you need to go back to February 2020? <laughs> Three years. Said, yeah, three years ago and put a scratch on a video, man. Yeah. You know? It don't make sense, man. You know, yeah. but you have these damn sexy reds and, and Sukianas mm -hmm. can go out here pregnant, looking right. looking all type of wicked, you right. know, dancing around the stage and stuff. Um, I think Ruby Red, she brought out one of these nasty damn um rappers and they was all bouncing and shaking the ass all over the floor and stuff, you know, at a concert. I'm looking like man, look at look at look at our people, man. You know? Mm -hmm. They make you sick to your stomach. Yeah, pregnant. They got, yeah. they got infants in the videos. Mm-hmm. You know, shaking their ass. You know, yep. hey, that's that's all manner of lewdness, man. You know? Mm -hmm. Uh like hey, uh, like the um the two time fitness, man. You know, he bring this little um nigglet out here and he's shooting dice and you know oh, he's he talking about, about two times. Yeah, for next two times, man. You know, he bringing out this little niggling, you know, and he's shooting dice. Yeah, 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 yep. man. He he talking about uh having sex and all type of foolishness, man. Yeah. Like, bro, like, you need to be in a daycare somewhere, man. Learn your ABCs yeah, he, and... He can barely, and, uh, can barely talk. He can barely yeah. talk, but he over there, right? Man, like, yo, that's what I'm going to say, man. Hey, now we understand why the Lord brought the flood. Yep. Now yep. we understand why the... Lord put us in captivity because yeah. look at our people, man. Mm -hmm. And yeah. now you can understand that there's no, there's no another generation that's coming up that's mm -hmm. gonna, you know. Mm -hmm. They keep talking about building, man. What, right. what is, what's after this, man? Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> like what the hell you trying to build? You know. <laughs> you know? <laughs> It's like it's like, do you really want to be in the community with these people? But but Jake Jake cannot see a community without Esau Edom over them. They no. cannot see this so called white man not in in rulership, mm -hmm. not in power. You know, because they just want a piece of the pie. They don't. We want the whole pie. You know, we don't want a piece. We want the whole damn pie, man. Yeah. Yep. I got I got one. All right. Genesis uh six and five. And the and, and the most high saw that wickedness of man was great in the earth. The same way he see it now, man. Wickedness is great here on the earth, man. When you look at this place, man, when you look at the, the idol worship, the um the, the philosophies, the, the ideologies, you know, when you look at this place, man, you see what the Lord was seeing, man. You looking through the Lord's lens. Go oh, ahead. Yeah. It says, <clears throat> and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. And it repented the Lord that he had made man on the earth. Right. And it grieved him at his heart. And the Lord said, I will destroy man whom I have created from the face of the earth, both man and beast and the creeping thing and the fowls of the air it repenteth me that I have made them. You know, hey, we're in the same time now, man. You know, it's it, it's even more wicked now, man. Yeah. You know, the scripture say, hey, man, um, a time like never before, man. Yeah. Hey, because East, you got all right, my bad. Hey, 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 these people don't fill that cup up, man. And, and, mm -hmm. and it's running over, man. You know, the scripture say that the sins have reached into the heavens. Hey, the mm -hmm. Lord from the brain, the Lord from the brain, the pain, man. Mm -hmm. you know? Hey, because Esau has had thousands of years to perfect wickedness, man. Yeah, you know, Esau know every part of wickedness, man. He know how to get you to go off. He know how to get you to 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 you know uh, fall into those wicked traps. You know, mm -hmm. because he's to have he's had time after time, generation after generation. To push that wickedness throughout the um, four corners of the earth. Yeah, like that old saying, he had plenty of time to perfect his craft. Yep. Yeah, and ultimately, he, he know the scripture, man. He he know uh he know we, uh, us going against our power, man. You know, so everything mm -hmm. he pushed is is for us to sin, man. 
Mm-hmm. You no, know, he got to keep us going off, you know, so he can stay in power. Man, that's beautiful. Because when you think about it, that's how you know who the true people of your how about Shema Shah is. Because why would you go contrary to everything in the scriptures and cause these these people to do so? You know, so they cannot be in touch with their power. So that show you that that's directly at us, man. All right. Because yep. we'll him that put put the bottle to to a neighbor. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Yeah, and our people have drunken that that up, man. Mm hmm. It fully they are fully immersed in Esau's uh vibration. You know. They they conform to the beast. Yep. yep. Mm hmm. This is just the uh, I got one to land back off of you know what you just brought in Genesis, uh, Matthew twenty four and thirty seven. It says, "But as as the days of no were, so shall the coming of the Son of Man be. For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking and marrying and giving into marriage." Yeah, so, man. Jay was kicked back, chilling, man. Not worried about nothing, man. Eating, drinking, you know, just like Jake doing now, man. Jake having a uh, barbecue, you know. Jake is uh, a deep frying raccoon, deep frying rabbit, you know. <laughs> got hey, got the oxtail spread out all over the table, you know. Not worried about Jake anything, done. man. Jake done take it to a whole new dog on level. Mm -hmm. Hey, that's why the scriptures say measure the time, man. If our people was like I said, they if they know the history of, of the time of Noah. Like you said, when Noah was prophesying, then now people know what's getting ready to happen. It was about to be a flood. Right. Hey, and, and we in that same spirit, man. We doing the same thing, man. That Noah doing, mm -hmm. man. But our people, you know, they ain't got that, they ain't got that mind frame to know, man. Hey, it's it, mm -hmm. it, it, yeah. every time, man. When the yeah, Lord gonna bring bring that second death. Hey, hey that's man. those that's those same spirits coming back for their judgment, man. They coming back to fulfill their lot. You know, mm -hmm. God. Uh, I got I got one real quick. Well, it ain't, it ain't a quick one, but uh, this is this a vision that the Lord had Ezekiel go. Uh, had a vision that the Lord had Ezekiel to see concerning our people with the wickedness that they were doing. So I'm gonna start at uh, just to get to the point. It say uh, it says. It says then I'm gonna start at five Ezekiel chapter eight verse uh yeah I'm gonna start at five it says Ezekiel chapter eight verse five it says then said unto me son of man lift up thy eyes now the way toward the north so I lift up my eyes the way toward the north and behold northward at the gate of the altar the, this image of jealousy in the entry verse six it says, he said for the more unto me. So the man, seest thou what they do? Even the great abominations that the house of Israel committed here, that I should go far off from my sanctuary. Mm -hmm. But turn thee yet again, and thou shalt see greater abominations. And he brought me to the door of the court. And when I looked, behold, a hole in the wall. Then said unto me, Son of man, dig now in the wall. And when I dig in the wall, behold, a door. And it says, verse 9 says, He said unto me, Go in, and behold, the wicked abominations that they do here. Verse 10 says, So I went and saw, behold, every form of creeping things, abominable beasts, and all the idols of the house of Israel portrayed upon the wall round about. And I want to bring that point out because we're liking unto like Ezekiel. We see in all the abominations and all the wicked stuff that our people are doing via, you know, hey, the world wide web. You know, the Lord made it to where you could see everything Jake doing, you know, via, via the internet, man. We see what Jake out here doing, all the wickedness, man. I just seen, uh, 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 in Jackson, Mississippi, this Jake just ran up on this other Jake and just start. He ran up on this thing on uh, driver side one of them just start airing him out, man. You know, this is just a further example of the you know the wickedness that our people are doing, man. So, I just wanted to bring it out, you know, going to show, like, I mean, you know, 
you know, the prophets are, you know, like, you know, kind of sort of feeling a lot of, you know, like Ezekiel, man. Hey, and when you when you look at um these pay this pagan holiday is coming up, Jake going in and 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 worshiping these idols, but they don't see how Yahweh Bashima Shai is making it harder and harder for them to celebrate yeah. uh Christmas. Yep. You know, because everybody crying about money. Everybody's I don't know how I'm gonna uh, get my kids this, I don't know how I'm gonna uh, make it happen this year. Every year they got to find another way. To be able to celebrate this pagan holiday, man, right, you know, right. to celebrate this abomination, and the Lord is looking like, man, look at my people, man, look at how much I'm, I'm giving them hell, but they still trying to hold on to these traditions right. that that have been mm -hmm. getting them nowhere all their life. Right. Hey, mm -hmm. hey, uh, we said it last year, and it's even more true this year. If ever there was a year to say fuck them kids. Mm -hmm. right. <laughs> hey, well, well, when you go into that um that that movie called A Reading, you know um what did she say, man? She said, man, fuck them kids, man. When the girl started telling them about, oh man, you shouldn't have did this, and she started acting like she felt real bad about it, you know. Um, I forgot what the woman name was, man. It was um a black actor though, and uh she was talking about. It. She was like, man, fuck them kids, man. And she like she didn't give a damn about them. That's a spirit that our people should be in, man. You know, hey, these the um on the scriptures say, um, what is it? the children rule up over the, yeah, rule up over the house and the women, something like yep. that. Roughly paraphrasing. I don't yeah, know if the brothers got it. That's why our people, children are uh, rule over them, and women um, children are their oppressors, and women rule over them. Right. Yup, children are their oppressors, man. Because when you go into these holidays, they really do that to make these kids happy man you know yeah. they want to get them get them something that they like so they can love them for that one little moment man right. you know it's like the the video the little i guess a black lady living in the neighborhood she going mm -hmm. about her daughter she going about her daughter pretty little tesla homegirl cook the hell out i didn't mm -hmm. want no tesla why do i want that car i'm, I'm looking like the car the that car looked like at least maybe eighty something thousand dollars. Mm -hmm. She ain't want it. Yeah, the scripture says a gift destroyed the heart. Man. Yeah, uh, I mean, mm -hmm. if you guys ever get a chance, I think it was on Instagram. I, I had to watch. I said, you know what, Mama, good because I would I would have beat that girl ass up and down that damn block. Yeah. If I spent eighty grand and you didn't even want that, oh no. Right. But then Jake Jake will be in the world and say that money came by love. Right. Mm -hmm. you know, well, totally con contradicting himself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it produces that spirit of materialism. Yep. Mm -hmm. our people, man. Mm -hmm. From a kid, they condition you to to love material things, man. Right. Mm -hmm. Holidays, man. Right. You know, and really, you're just breeding more slaves because what the children want, and then you want to give your children what you never had, mm -hmm. or what you what you couldn't get. That's materialism. Mm -hmm. Yep. Right. Yep. yep. I got one. There's uh, Luke 14 and 26. If any man come me, come to me and hate not his father and his mother and wife and children and brethren and sisters, yea, in his own life also, he cannot be my disciple. You know, and that, that, these holidays are stumbling block, man. Mm -hmm. you know, like I say, our people, they don't want to get his life up, man. They don't want to leave mm -hmm. America behind. Mm -hmm. That's why most of our people they can't come in this gospel, man. Right. You know, because they, they yep. conform to this world, man. Right. Yep. Because I mean that's they why, they act of, oh I'm sorry, Salaka. Okay. Hey, that's why a lot of them get put to death, man. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, what I was getting at real quick was if you know, if they're gonna catch an attitude with you, if you tell them start eat shrimp, crab, pork, stuff like that, just a no matter if you tell them about, hey, you think you could give up your you know if the most high bless you with a ten million dollar home, you think you uh, give that up and walk with us, man? They'll look at you like you crazy. Mm -hmm. well, but that show you that show you the confused state these people in because just like well, I, um, Hashem was going into earlier how this um so called white man trying to get them to eat bugs. You know he already did it one time. Why not do it again? Because he got you eating shrimp. He got you uh -huh. eating crawfish. You know, uh -huh. so he's just gonna pull the wool over your eyes again. Uh -huh. Right. Gonna make it a delicate. Yeah, yep, you know, like, <laughs> yeah. 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 Y
You know, hey, you didn't see them bring you see them bringing back the uh, old McDonald's. Now they're bringing back the little chicken McNuggets. Now guess what? They got them looking just like black folk. Wow. The little the little cartoon little with the little toy thing. I'm looking like, yep. See how they, that's how they get them. Yeah, that's how man. they get them. They use advertisement to get you. Yeah. And like how you said, you know, back then, crab, lobster, all that stuff was for like prisoners. You know, right. you know, you in jail. That's that was your last meal. They give you a little pretty much abominational food. Mm-hmm. Now all of a sudden, now it's a delicacy now. No, that that that, that um that TV man and his music man that, that that's a real that's some real witch crowd man. Mm-hmm. That's, mm-hmm. that's a that's how a lot of people go off man. You know because they get they get hypnotized man. Mm-hmm. They play these commercials, these movies over and over and over. Mm-hmm. So it, hey, and yeah. Jake participate in it man. What is no. that? That's it. The inward the inward uh. Well, the scripture says he do a diligent a diligent search. Search. You yep. know, when you're going to Esau's uh you know, Esau knows psychology. He's well versed in psychology. You know, uh uh he 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 knows mind control. Yeah, you know instead of the brain. Yep. Mm-hmm. That's He's why you know they, they take the, they taking up they taking up the blood, you know, the right. plasma, you know, Esau study everything, man. Right. Everything, yep. bro. Yeah, yeah. Hey, but that's why that's why Esau don't like what we doing. That's why he can't stand his truth. Because what the scriptures say, there is no enchantment on Israel. So right. once you come unto the truth, once you come under the umbrella of your high shot, Esau have no effect on you. Right. You know, the yeah. things that he do don't work on you anymore because you have something more important than what he got to offer you. Right. Yeah. He he can't tap in the spirit, man. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. There's, there's one thing he can't control, man. Right. You know, that's why he, he want to put the MOTB in our people, man, because, you know, that's how he's going to try to infiltrate the, the spirit, man. Right. You know, he, yep. need put, he need to put that MOTB in you. Yeah, he has this constant yep. attack on uh, Jake's, you know, really the spirit, the spiritual, you know. Esau is trying to fight the spiritual in Jake. You know, he he put fluoride in the water, fluoride in the toothpaste. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, to calcify these people's uh, minds, you know, yep. and then, it, you know, right, you know, right when you're born, they, they inject you with vaccines. Mm-hmm. They lock you for that. Damn. But, hey, not not only that, I, um, I was looking at something on TikTok where they said this man used nonstick pans to get the aluminum into your body. And they said the yeah, aluminum yeah. Um, run you crazy or something. They were saying yeah, yeah. Those, uh, yeah. the, the Teflon. Teflon. Yep. Yeah, they, they said every human being on the planet has Teflon poisoning in them. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Yep. And they can't, yeah, you, you know, it's like a forever, it's a forever chemical. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's why you gotta watch these pans and pots you be cooking out of. And oh, yeah. Yeah. He saw on hey, he don't search out everything, man. Yeah, man. Oh yeah. And every and every little thing, and every little thing now, you, you might as well say 90% of the food you eat and everything you use got pork in it. No. So, you know, so that's what I was saying. Like how you just said, you you, you got to constantly stay diligent, you pray, yeah, and you, you know. I just uh, I just seen a video on TikTok uh, last night. It was uh, it was showing how it was saying basically like the uh, the meat, like the steaks and the burgers we eating right now. Majority of that stuff lab grown, mm-hmm. like they growing. That the lab but it, they make it taste like it's like it's actual yeah they add a little flavor and stuff to it yeah and that's in it and it show in the lab how they actually do it right mm-hmm. so they take the little molecules from the little uh the cow and whatnot and they grow it like they was like a uh, majority of the meat that they sell it in these stores they said it's lab grown yeah mm-hmm. i got one sir I got, I got one too. Go ahead, Doc. Michael two and one. Woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. When the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hands. And they covet fields and take them by violence and houses and, and take them away. So they oppress a man in his house, even a man in his heritage. Oh. Uh, and, and that's the so called white man, man. Like you said, hey, this man don't, don't did a diligent search, man. You no, know, he, he he know everything about our people, man. He he don't study his enemy, man. Mm-hmm. His enemy is you Israelites, you Negro Latino Native Americans, man. 
You know, and your only armor, your only protection is, is the words of your house by your mouth. Shout like the brother said earlier, man. There is no enchantment against Jacob, man. You know? Mm-hmm. Hey, and that show you um how Esau is, man, because Esau went in and he had Jake in these these um these cities in these downtown areas, and he was on the outskirts in the rural areas. Now he wanna come in, you know, and take over that now, man. Uh gentrification. He wanna come in and take, you know, the different way the different projects said, the different um um yeah. places, you know, in the city where Jake was living. He want to come mm -hmm. and take that over now, man. You know? Yep. Yep. But like how they say, man, you know, like how they did in Washington, D.C. My cousin showed the before and after, you know, certain areas where you know there were black folks. Mm -hmm. You know, like yep. certain versions like Brooklyn. You'd be like, yeah, man, it's downtown Brooklyn. It's such and such and such. You go there now, like, shit. This don't look mm -hmm. like Brooklyn. Or this don't look like downtown Bo uh, yeah. Baltimore. Oh, yeah. there was that show. There was that show, They. Or uh, I think it was called Them. One of the one of the two. Yeah, it's but, them. Uh, them. them. They yeah. show how in Watts and uh really across America how they redline these cities mm -hmm. and they would charge the Jakes twenty percent interest on their mortgage. Mm. So they were charging and, and 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 when they were having this meeting, they were like, Well, they'll never get out from under that because you you will never pay off twenty percent of your mortgage interest, you know. Mm, wow. It'll wow. take you. It'll take you twenty. It'll take you more than twenty years just to pay off the interest. Yep. You know? That's well, what hey, they hey, they were showing. They were showing on TikTok how everybody in the uproar, how um Navy Federal is only Federal. give um there's yeah. a gap in between the loan disbursement. Yep. You know. Yep. For the black folks here. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've seen that. Yep. Yeah, I got a, I got a prescript when you get a chance. I got one. I was I was holding one. So you go. Oh, go ahead. Mm -hmm. Um, this is a uh, Sirac twelve, and um, I'm gonna I'm gonna start at uh, I'm gonna start at fourteen to get to the point. It says, "Good is set against evil, and life against death. So is the godly against the sinner, and the sinner against the the godly." Mm -hmm. You know, Esau is that 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 uh that sinner, that ungodly man. He is the evil one, you know, and uh, the the main characters in this story uh, are Esau and Jacob, and there's that constant war, man. Mm -hmm. You know that constant fight that two thirds of our people they don't even know we in, they don't even know we fighting. No, uh -huh. you know, but the Lord has reserved a remnant that's gonna uh, uh, overcome, you know, that that war, man. You know, hey, and when you think about it, since you made that analogy. When you watch movies, you the movie is not good without a great villain. Right. You know, you got to have a real good villain to really mm -hmm. make the movie, man. So right. when the Lord made Esau Edom, he made the best villain ever, man. <laughs> the most mm -hmm. wicked, the most vile person ever, man. Right. You know? Yeah, the protagonist and the antagonist. Well, yeah. There's got to be some conflict in a movie. Even, like, when a movie is, uh, when it, you know, you're looking for, like, what makes a, a movie suspenseful is you're looking for that, that bad to happen. You know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know that's what made that movie uh so suspenseful is, you know, everything was just going all good, and even, you know, it didn't get to the climax until everything started going bad. You know. Hey, hey even when you watched um the movie Dark Knight Rising, when you watched Batman and Bane. Hey, man, I like that Bane, you know, because yeah. he was that evil guy coming up against Batman. But then once you found out that he was controlled by the damn woman, it was like, oh, man, they pretty much killed it. You yeah. know, because once you've seen at the end, oh, yeah, he was just doing what the woman was telling. It made him look weak, man. So you got to yeah. have that, that that good villain to really make the movie. And that's what you have about Shemar done, man. Right. Okay. Go ahead, uh, Shalomar. Oh, yeah, I was going to go into, um, like, with Esau, this is Proverbs 4 and 16. For they, for they sleep not, except they have done mischief. And their sleep is taken away unless they cause some to fall. And just like, you know, just like how you say, man, they can't go to sleep. They, hey, look, before they even lay their head on their pillow, they say, hey, look, if I go to sleep, I got to do something evil. I got to mess up a community. I got to pass some obscure law. I got to make something happen. Wickedly before I can go to sleep. 
Yeah, y'all always mm-hmm. uh, reference uh, Pinky in the Brain. Yep. Right. It's like mm-hmm. I always say, Esau wasted his whole rulership worrying about us. Yeah. Well, nigga, you should have just been chilling back, just enjoying your kingdom until it till right. the he wasted his whole yep. time worrying about us. Yep, I like when I when I when I first came to camp. Oh, Salaka, when I first came to camp, and I was behind the camera, and uh, I remember Brother Yonica told a lady uh, about the destruction of the world, the destruction of the world, and everything. Else, and the woman said, "Well, what should I do?" He told her, "Hey, go ahead and max out your Mastercard, have fun." Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm like, I'm looking like, yeah, like her shot. Her just, I'm sorry, what, what Mike just said, you wasted your time about us. Y'all mm-hmm. done ruin your king. You done ruin your kingdom. Now you trying to get it clean. Nah, it's too late, brother. Mm-hmm. Go ahead, max out that credit card and enjoy the end. Right. Hey, these, these devils couldn't sit back and, and, and just enjoy it, man. Not long mm-hmm. as the Israelites on. Yeah. Not long as we on earth, man, mm-hmm. they can never sit back and just just live it up, you know, because they got to keep us going off, man. Mm-hmm. You know, so we we gonna be their main focus, you know. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's that Judas. Mm-hmm. But that's how you know, like in the kingdom, we're gonna be at risk because we ain't gonna have to worry about Esau coming against us. Yeah. Them devils gonna, you know, they're gonna be serving out the thousand years of captivity. We ain't gonna be, you know, figuring out or oh, wondering no if they're gonna rise up and come against us. Uh, <coughs> you know, like the IUIC saying and all we ain't gonna be worrying about that, man. Right. Uh, dumping you know, dumping fluoride in their water. <laughs> Right, <laughs> you know, putting uh, astrazine in they t- you know, over here. Ain't make- to do that, man. Oh, hold it, counts on that trying that to rod, man. That rod of iron. Yeah, you know, they gonna do what we have to say about you know physically. Mm-hmm. You know? We don't have that spiritual power. That's right. Yeah. Read their thoughts and all that. Yeah, ain't no, ain't no such thing. No. Yeah, then they gonna see how you know how you how was shot put down these armies. Mm-hmm. And war mm-hmm. was, you know, they're gonna be like, shit, man, they ain't going up against you. How shot. Hey, uh, well, hey, that goes into the um the reading we've been doing with Joshua. Hey, mm-hmm. what did Rahab the Harlot say? Hey, our hearts melted, melted when we heard what happened, what you did to the Egyptians, man. Yup, yep. yep. Hey, that's that's the spirit. Ooh. Uh, <laughs> damn, I was holding uh, Isaiah. is that Jeremiah? We say it shall no more be said. Yeah, I think yep. it's uh, uh it. sixteen. Yeah. Yep. Um, Jeremiah sixteen and verse five. It says, "For thus saith the Lord, Enter, come, saith the Lord, that it shall no more be said, the Lord liveth that brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt." But the Lord liveth that brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north and from all the lands whether they had driven them. And I will bring them again into their into their land that I gave unto their fathers. Oh, Slack, yeah, I read that wrong. Yeah, therefore, behold, the day is come, you know, where it's, it's going to be said, man, you know, that the Lord liveth that you know, a that brought you know the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, the Israelites, according to the Bible, all right, out of the land of the north, which is America, all right, with thermonuclear missiles, you know, with chariots, with famine, you know, with a, with a, uh, with an MOTB, you know, hey, it's gonna be a the the world is gonna know, man, all the heathen. <laughs> They going to know, man, that, hey, the Lord liveth, man. You know, Yahweh. Uh, beautiful, man. Hey, and that's what we waiting on, man. Hey, we waiting to get the hell up out of here, man. We waiting on Yahweh Shem outside to bring that doom and gloom. We waiting mm-hmm. on, uh, hey, we waiting on the prophecies to come to pass, man. You know, the, the, the famine, the hour of temptation, Jacob's trouble. The third world's war, the second death. We want all that to come, man. So we get the hell up out of here, man. Bros pray for that every day. Yep. Yeah. And think about it, man. We're gonna leave out of here in style, man. You know, yeah. hey, we're not gonna go walking out like we did in times of um yeah. in times of the Pharaoh, man. Hey, we leaving out of here in style, man. Brothers gonna leave out of here. 
and a and a fathership, man. You know, and then coming back, I got a you know? bigger, better, like that old song, coming back, bigger, better, and stronger. Yeah, hey, like the million dollar man, I'm come back faster, stronger, bigger, and smarter. <laughs> I got a quick one. Uh, name whom this is name whom chapter one verse nine it says what do ye imagine against the Lord Yahweh? He will make a utter a utter end. Affliction shall not rise up the second time. Woo. You got a affliction. A hey, affliction shall not rise up the second time, man. So this is the last hurrah right here, man. This is the last captivity we ever going to have to worry about again, man. We never going to have to hear about Esau, Edom coming back into power. There's not going to be a damn renaissance again, man. You know, where Esau come back into power when he start whitewashing everything, you know, mm -hmm. and we start speaking his language and, and worshiping after his different deities. We're not going to have to worry about that again, man. You know? Yep, a thousand years of servitude and a good old-fashioned bonfire after that. Yep. Yep. Hey, it's like somebody who go um get diagnosed with cancer, you know, and the cancer be in remission and it yep. keep coming back. Then all of a sudden you cut it out and you don't have to worry about it no more, man. That's what's gonna happen with Esau, man. He's gonna be cut out of earth, man. You know, mm -hmm. burnt with fire. Never ever gonna have to worry about his ass again, man. Except for storybooks, museums, and word them out. Right. Yep. I got one. Daniel, Daniel 7 and 18. But the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom Woo! and possess the kingdom forever, even forever, ever. Hey, that don't sound like Esau coming back into power, man. Hey, that mm -hmm. sound like the saints going to take the kingdom and they're going to possess the kingdom forever and ever, man. Forever, yeah. ever? Forever, ever. Forever, ever. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, not those ones that's sitting over there now. That's why he pissed off. That's why he mad. Mm -hmm. He know this it. Yep. Yep. This he is fight, a... hey, he, he fighting tooth and nail, but a hey, stop it. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because uh, you know, both of those wars that he fighting and he keeps sending money mm -hmm. to fight, they both basically to keep uh either my supremacy, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. You know. To keep it's this log going, man. You know, it's, it's trying to offset prophecy. Yep. Mm -hmm. I got a precept. Uh, this is uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 4 and verse 6. Um, It says, For Yahweh hath commanded the light to shine out of the darkness, hath shined in our hearts to give the light of knowledge of the glory of Yahweh in the face of Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. But we have this treasure in earthen vessels that ex th that the excellency of the power may be of Yahweh and not of us. We are troubled on every side, yet not distressed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Cast down but not destroyed. Yeah, man, we have these this treasure, all right? The knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of the scriptures, you know, these prophecies, we have this, man. So though we be in, you know, in, in these difficult situations, you know, in these straits, though we're uh, led as a, you know, as a flock to the slaughter, the Lord said we are not forsaken, man. You know, the Lord is with us, you know? Hey, and when um when you look at it, man, these people really don't see um what 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 that what the after effect of constantly spending money on wars do. Because like when I watch these period pieces, you know, you see the king when he constantly spending money on war, it start affecting the people, you know, because war is 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 big business. It's a lot of money, you know, and it start affecting the people because the taxes go up, um, inflation goes up. You know, yeah. and it start it start affecting the people that they can't get medicines, can't get the things that they normally normally could get to survive. You know, right? You got it. Yeah. That's why they do the uh, the bread and circus. Mm-hmm. You know, 
hey, to keep people's minds off, you know, because that's why they, you know, in, in the behind closed doors, they send they sending more and more money over there, man. Mm-hmm. Right. People, and, the, and, yeah. and it gets kind of swept under the rug by what social media and yep. then you know sports mm-hmm. that's why uh that's why they keep it going and they trying to find these new little and like these new little like new gimmicks yeah these new gimmicks like in Challenges sports, like shit. now you know the beginning of this uh the nba season now they got this in-season tournament and yeah, the cup. stuff they trying to put in these different sports to try to like you know further like keep people mind Watch. focus on yep. yeah like yep. keep people watching but you know yeah because like, hey uh, like you said too they said something about the college teams going from a a four team format to a twelve team next year so now you got all the people looking forward to that and not thinking about what's coming up later but you got it. That's right. No, uh, no, nah, nah. yeah, that, that was just what I'm saying. Like you just see these different gimmicks. Then you got these uh like you notice like Esau, uh he always throwing like these celebrities in the media, like with this whole yeah. P Diddy thing, like to keep people's minds talking about this, talking about that. Right. I mean that that's that that ain't important. Like, you know, mm-hmm. you got brothers putting in the chat about you know stuff going on, you know, legislations. Stuff over there, yep. in the middle, you know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody talking about that though. Yeah, because at the end of the day, man, people talking about P Diddy, man, P Diddy, good man. P Diddy is in the um boule, right. you know. Yep. Hey, he good yep. man. They not gonna do shit to P Diddy, man. Because at the end of the day, man, just like they know his dirty secrets, he know their dirty secrets, man. Yep. So again, just like how you said, it's all, it's all a circus act. Everybody keep a look at the left hand. Don't worry what the right hand's done. Right. Hey, yeah. well, no, um, you know, slide yeah, hand. Salaki. Slide hey, hand. um, because I know Elder Yasharama, he always reposts this, uh, this video about, uh, he did like a while ago, but he'll post it every night. He'll repost it every now and again on how the similarities of how Rome fell. In the celebrity, mm-hmm. I mean, in the in the, in the similarity of you know America, mm-hmm. you know, at the time of Rome, that it, it was a bunch of you know bread and circus, you know, towards the fall towards the fall of it and all this stuff. And you see the same thing going on with America, mm-hmm. you know, it, it, that that they, they got to keep that bread and circus going, man. Yep. Uh, and, like, um, the uh, show is going to uh, into it too. You know, to touch on that, that um, what was going on in Rome? It was a lot of homosexuality going on. Oh yeah, yeah. No. Oh, uh, uh, androgyny. Yep. You know, which is you know the the blurring of the lines of gender. Mm. You know? So. Yep. Yep. Just like yeah. I said earlier, like I said earlier, all the other countries getting this stuff geared up and stuff, right? You know, like that. Here we are over here. Still can't figure out who you know what's a man, what's a woman, what's up, what's down. I was looking like shit about to hit the fan, and y'all still crying over this shit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you got other, this when the brother went when one of the guys went over to other countries, they be asking them questions. What you think? But like how we said that uh, cap a few months back, you know, other countries think of America as fat, lazy, uneducated. And then, and you see it when you ask them several questions. How many states are United? How many states there are in the United States? They can't even answer that question. Mm-hmm. How many stripes are on the flag? Couldn't answer that question. And I'm hey, looking like hey, hey, what the scriptures say, man. Hey, when these times start getting the, um hard, man. Hey, the love of many shall wax cold. Hey, when mm-hmm. that on um, that movie first came on, you know, getting back to where we started. When that movie first came on, what did the um woman? Julia Roberts said, she said, I hate people. You yeah, know? Open, open mm-hmm. line. <laughs> yeah, the opening line. The opening line, man. <laughs> I got a precept. This is uh, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 1. It says, but other times and seasons, brethren, you have no need that I write with you. For you yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child. Hey, and that's, hey, and that's beautiful that you brought that out. Huh? Because um, I think one of the brothers brought up 
Hey, they was at they, they was in peace and safety because they was on a vacation. You know, mm-hmm. they was they figured they was in peace. They was in a nice mansion. You know, had all the amenities. And look what happened, man! All hell broke loose, man. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, peace and safety. What have been doing like the other little little scene? Peace and safety. They all chilling at the beach, having a lot jolly all the time. Nobody seen that mm-hmm. big ass oil tanker come and scream at them until the last damn minute. All right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, all that it, peace and safety got disturbed, man. Yeah. yeah, you know, and it got disturbed real fast. You know, yep. Kind of Another thing too, uh, in our movie, Esau threw a lot of hint and clues in there too. Right, right. When you mm-hmm. when you uh, talk about that beat scene, what it was the white lion? The white lion, yeah. Oh they man, said that yeah. Back to a slave ship, man. Slave ships. Well, the oh. the uh, the place where they were was the place where the first Israelites were were brought over. The well, the, you know, the, the first Jews, speaking about the three tribes, were brought over to the Americas. Yep, point comfort. Point comfort. Yep. Wow. See. And on the on the ship that you like you said out the ship was called the White Lion. Right. Yep. And and when they showed the man uh trying to get back to the city, they showed on the radio what 1619. 1619. Yep. Man. <laughs> yeah, just like how yeah, just like how Mike said, you know, you got people going back watching it two and three times. I, I like, Man, I don't. I don't watch about three times, man. <laughs> I watch it. Yeah, yeah. People go back to watch it because you don't know what you miss, you know. Right. Yeah, hey, so, like how you said, it's the small stuff you got to pay attention to because so, yeah. you'll miss it the first go around. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, uh, yeah. They had a painting. Uh, right, right when you first walked in, it was the all seeing eye. Yeah, yeah, I seen that. No, I don't know eyes on the painting, and then mm-hmm. they showed the all seeing eye in the uh, in the intro. I don't know if yeah. my brothers noticed, uh, even with the uh the teenage son and the daughter, when they was in that cabin, the um uh, the the t shirt that the uh the teen the teenage boy was wearing, it said obey. Obey, yeah. Yeah, man. Hey, and you remember they were just saying that on um the internet. They were talking about is hidden words in the yep. um in the way that people be standing or whatever. And like you said, one of the words is obey. Obey. Oh, yeah, man. Yep, and then yep, and then if you guys also notice, Shamak put it in there too. If you actually look at the letter titles of the um, the even name of the movie, "Leave the World Behind," by all, yep. he circled yeah. it out right inside. I'm like, yeah, see, <laughs> there it is. Wow. So they they you know that's why people you know again people look at it two or three times. The first time around, you watch it. Second time around, people look at it to try to catch clues and look at it as a spiritual eye, like how we do. Catch the the hidden clues inside there. It'll try to relate it to the Bible. Yeah, that, that, that's why it's called a television because he's he telling you a vision. Yep. Yep. You, know, you got all <laughs> right. kind of signs, and like you say, you got to look on. You got to look in the background. Right. Mm-hmm. You yep. At, yep. You know, yeah. Don't talk, look at the man. They talking. They talking to each other, man. Right. Yep. Uh-huh. And so, yep. And sometimes, especially when they do like in those big cities, like some people say, if they ever do it in New York, and they on Times Square, they say, don't pay attention to the actors. Like how Malaka just said, look behind them. Look at right. what the people doing. Let's say even look at the TV screen because they'll put stuff on the back on those big behind televised TV screen on Times Square. Yeah. Mm-hmm. People have missed that. You like wait, wait, wait. we want that. Look at the TV. Tell me what yeah. you see on the TV. Yeah. Hey, I got um, I got one we can end off on. You bros want to break it down? Uh, let me. I can finish this out uh, real quick. Yeah, yeah. Finish it out, and I got to end the script. Okay. Okay. Uh. It says, uh, 1 Thessalonians 5 and 4, it says, But ye, brethren, are not in darkness, that that day should overtake you as a thief. Ye are all children of the light, and the children of the day. We are not of the night, nor of the darkness. Yeah, so a lot of people let this movie go over their head. But mm-hmm. the Hakim, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh hey, we're children of the day, man. You know, we're not letting this, you know, this, you know, these signs go over our head, man. We, hey, we mm-hmm. discerning the times, man. I know in Corinthians it said the, the natural man can't receive. Right. Yep. You know, the, the, the things, you know. Yeah. You got to be spiritual, be. man, to, to, to discern these movies, man, and know that 
you know, visions visions are being played out through these movies, man. You right. know, prophecy mm-hmm. more more than anything. You know, that's because that's what it really is. Is is it's Esau speaking on the left hand, man? Yep. Yeah, because mm-hmm. you know that. Yep. Because you know the average, the average Jake could tell you, "Oh man, yeah, 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 going too serious in a movie, man. It's just a movie." Okay, Jake, yeah. you, you keep believing it. Matter of fact, go ahead and keep on walking down the street. And that's what you do. Yeah, well, two thirds, two thirds is gonna be two thirds regardless, right. man. They not gonna yep. ever get it, you know, to the end. Yeah, come. yeah mm-hmm. they are are real shallow, man. Yep. You know? mm-hmm. And the scripture speaks about how they have not known the depths of Satan. They don't know how deep. Satan is man, you know, Satan is an angel of light, you know, mm-hmm. he's disguised as an angel of light, but hey, he is he is wiser than Daniel, you know. So hey, it is that deep, man. A lot of these mm-hmm. things that say oh it's not that deep. No, it's that deep, man. Yep. You know? <laughs> you know? oh. that, that, that's why they saying the movie was boring, but it, right. it, it come to see it. Right. No. Yeah. Hey, I was hyped that whole movie, man. Yeah. Uh-huh. Hey, when, when the shit started really going, I'm like, call like how about you? Hey, these people, <laughs> hey, mm-hmm. these people are finna see, bro. They're yeah. Finna see what we've been, what, hey, what the Lord has put in our mouths to warn them about, man. Yeah. Right. Hey, mm-hmm. like, hey, like how you said, because when shit hit the fan, boy, look at here. Yeah. They gonna be they, they gonna be one they gonna be looking for uh, the brothers on the street. They gonna, especially <laughs> in Savannah. Where, where them brothers at on, on River Street on a right. Sunday? We ain't gonna be there. <laughs> right. We ain't gonna be there. Mm-hmm. He saw back in the corner right now. Yeah, mm-hmm. you see what I'm saying. He backed in the corner. So what what he gonna do is he about to he like with the scriptures. He gonna come down with great wrath because he know that he got a short time. The prophets mm-hmm. are already in exposure. Now yeah, mm-hmm. they now mm-hmm. he, he he just backed in the corner, so now he about to come out with it. He about to he about to bring everything out. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's like he used to watch them Power Ranger movies back in the day. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? They getting beat up and then they come with the little, you know, they, they come with everything they got, you know what I'm saying? To, to get the bit, but he ain't gonna get the victory though. But he damn mm-hmm. so about to bring everything out. Mm-hmm. Yep. If, I'm, if I'm going down, I'm going down fighting. I'm gonna try to take as many as you right. with me as I can. Right, and that's mm-hmm. yeah. Kind. beautiful, beautiful. Um, I got a precept. Got it. Uh, okay. Romans thirteen and eleven, and that knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep, for now is our salvation nearer than we believe. And you know when you see uh these different movies. It's time to wake out of sleep. It's time for you to understand that hey, these prophecies are speaking. You know that's why Apostle Tahar coined it the year that that uh, um maybe that all prophecies may come to pass. You know, so and we've been seeing these prophecies come to pass. We've been seeing things just jumping off these pages. You know, brothers been a hey, in the chat um just constantly bringing out different um things that been happening all through the world. You know, mm-hmm. so it's time to wake out of sleep. Like you say, Jake's sleeping and don't want to wake up. But the whole for elect, man, hey, they waking up. The scriptures say the uh, um 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 the elect have attained it and the rest was blinded. Yeah. You know, they blinded to this movie, they blinded to what's coming down the pike. But we not, man. We a hey, we waiting because we know our salvation is coming closer and closer, man. We see we can almost see Yahweh shot coming back around upon that chariot, man. Mm-hmm. Y'all brothers had anything? That's pretty much it. All right. Hey, so with that, we'll end off by giving all the praise and all the glory to Yahweh, Hashem, Hey, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Peace, love, and salutation to hope for luck around the four corners of the earth that are making their calling and election sure. Shalom. 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 Hey, bros, don't leave. Don't leave yet. I'm about to end the screen.